Hey guys, what's going on? Cody from Mad Vapes Easily here, and I got a new video for you today on a device that we just got in. It is the Limitless Arms Race V2. Uh, this is the uh, Skull Chief V2 edition. See the little skull out of there? Um, these things don't come with instructions or anything like that. Uh, they come with a little card that you scan and it takes you to a website that tells you how to use it But it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just slot the batteries in um, if you haven't seen like this is our v2 But if you have a v1 um, Or if you've seen the v1 video uh, <coughs> It's on our channel, excuse me um, But basically to get the battery door off you just pull on that slide that down and then your batteries will come out like that um, But we're not gonna play games right now um, is it going to turn on? Yeah, there we go. So, uh, basically what they've done compared to the previous one is they've added these little side plates here that kind of poke out, and then also on the back they've got these this five-star ribbed, like, uh, back thing. I guess that's just for better grip. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest with you. Um, wattage buttons are still down here, fire button right here, um, and then your screen is still on the side right there. Is it orientate? Yeah, that's disappointing. Um, but they have made this piece wider here, and then the collar right here, they've extended a little bit. That way you can fit 25 millimeters and bigger on there. Um, I, this tank's 25. You might be able to fit like a 26 or a 27. I, don't, I definitely don't think you're going to be able to fit a 30 millimeter on there. Um, but uh, the Skull Chief pattern here has been updated, so it looks just a little bit more menacing. Um, and then it's got this uh, this little piece right here that says Stay Authentic, Limitless Mod Company, established 2013. So, I'm going to be hitting this on 120 watts. I've got the Vaporesso Cascade tank in here with the 0.15 ohm coil. And let's rip it. So... That's, that hits really fast. The ramp-up time's really good. Um, I don't know if you can hear it, but as soon as I press the button, it's it's pretty much firing. Like, it's good to go. So, overall, I like the device. I don't think it's necessarily, like, a vast improvement from the previous. Um, I mean, it still is very similar in the design and the way it looks. All they've really added is the side pieces and then the, the plate itself. Um, and then they've made the top a little bit bigger. These are all uh, things that people complained about with the first one. Um, so, really, the, the ramp-up time's awesome, though. And I like the design. I think it's a little bit big in the hand, personally. If you hold it like that, that's honestly more comfortable than holding it, I think, the way that it was designed to be held. Uh, if you got big hands, you won't have a problem. But that's, that's really what I got for you on this device. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Be sure to get back to you. Dilly dilly.